So, this is how to play some riffs from Through the Fire and Flames. Um, so, some of these riffs will uh, contain hammer-ons and pull-offs and I think some tapping. Uh, it all depends on what riffs I remember. <laughs> Um, now, there are a few mistakes here that I see people do all the time, and it bugs me so much. So, whenever you're playing through the fire and flames, the intro is always over the top. Keep your pinky on the 13th fret on the B string, and keep it on the B string. Oh, by the way, leave a like if you remember this hat. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm going to teach you how to do this. I just realized I'm hip that I just did this right here. Okay. Anyways, so basically for the intro, we go. That was I the Tiger. I'm in. I'm getting. You could probably uh, find out the intro. You know, find out the intro chords for yourself. But uh, we're doing the riffs here. So. Pinky finger on the B string on the 13th fret. Do not move your pinky, no matter what. Well, until I say move your pinky. So, your first finger on the 16th fret on the B. So it's six, 16 four times, 13 two times, 16 four times, and 13 two times. So. Then you go all the way to 18. 20, that's what I meant to say. The 20th fret on the B string. I'll tell you whenever we change strings. So anyways, play it the same way. Then go to the 18th fret. Then back to the 16th. And then just move it up slightly. So you play 15, and then 12, and then back to 15. Then you go to 16. 12. 15. Then you go to 17, 15, and then 14. Then you repeat this. Except this time you don't return to the 16th fret. Kinda. This way you do it regularly. So you go to 16th fret, then 13th. Then you change the G string on the 13th. Then you go 18th on the B, 16, 13. Then you repeat that. And then, you go to the E string, and you hold down the 22nd fret with the whammy bar. Um, now, if you have a guitar with 24 frets, that is perfect. If you do not have a guitar with 24 frets, you can simply just uh, put up, like, bend the string a whole step. Makes the same sound. If you have a guitar with 24 frets, that is even better, especially with the whammy bar. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is the intro. On the uh, on the record, it sounds like after he does this, he then does this. But it's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, um, and Sam Topman, uh, which is not the guy who does this. That's Herman Lee. Uh, Sam Topman does it on the G string. Uh, now I don't know the complete riff to that. All I know is. Oh, also all of this is on the G string. So basically, I'm just gonna run you through this just real quick. It's on the G string four times, and then open two times. Then you do it again. Then eight fret on the G. 
Then open. Eight. Open. And then you put your pinky right on the first fret on the G string. And you put your f first finger on the first fret. I mean, fifth fret on the G string. Then one. Back to five. One. And then you let go of that. So it's like this. So yeah. Um, now for the verse. Um, now what Herman Lee does is that he like lifts up the guitar by the whammy bar and then kicks it off of his knee or something. I can't do that. So what I do is that I use G sharp two times, and then I go to A sharp, then palm muted. Basically, what they do is that they do this. So basically you play G sharp, palm you through the whole thing, then you go, uh, just go on, like, go crazy on the four, to fret on the E string, then play this, uh, like, G sharp, then A sharp, and then go to C. Then you're kind of playing the Eye of the Tiger because you're playing the third fret. So if I want to turn off distortion, and also turn off the wild paddle. You're pretty much just playing this. And my snare chains are rattling over there. Let me just turn this on. Anyways. So. Then it goes C to D. Then back to C real quick. And then go to A sharp. Then play the first one. Then you go back to C real quick. Back to A sharp. Then you go to G. Back to G sharp. So, like this. Like that. So the pre chorus is like this. Is there a guitar out of tune or something? Hold on, let me check this. This is kind of embarrassing. Yeah, it is. Sorry for that. So, uh, the pre chorus goes like this. So, basically, it's D sharp, then A sharp, palm mute here. Uh, at A sharp, then go to C, and then go G sharp. Except you don't palm mute on G sharp, so. Then you palm mute here. You do this. Repeat that one more time. Except this time you don't like play G sharp like this. You just do this. Now he does like something like something on the G string. I forgot what it was, but uh, we'll just we'll just ignore that for now. Um, and now for the chorus, it's G sharp, C, then A sharp. You go like. Now it does like some kind of tapping here, 
Uh, I think it goes like this. Like that. But like really fast whenever this is ringing out. I can't do that, so. So G sharp, C, A sharp, then G, and tap on the D string. So like that. Um, then the second verse is pretty much that repeating except. Then go to the 15th fret on the E. Then whammy on here. Then you go back to like. So yeah. Um, so that part is pretty simple. Um, now, whenever the vocalizing, like, whoa, 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 you might hear this. I only heard that in the instrumental version, uh, and on some tabs, but, uh, I have I haven't heard it on the record and I have not heard it live so I don't really think that's part of the song but uh, whenever they're vocalizing it's and then that's where I, I did that with pull-offs because I'm a I'm a I'm crazy you know so Then you hold down G sharp, B then C, and then you slide from the 22nd fret all the way to the 1st fret, and then open. Now he does something like right at the 8th fret or something, something like that. Um, now there's this one part that I improvise with. Um, like, he does something with something like that, but what I do is that I do 13th fret, 16th fret on the E, so, and then I go on the B string on the 16th fret, then 13th fret on the B. Now, I don't recommend that you do that because then your muscle motor memory skills, whatever, <laughs> will get used to that, and it just doesn't sound right, so... And I do it palm muting, uh, and that's actually what they did is that they palm muted through this little thing, but they didn't do this. They did something different. Anyway, after that, um, it was like a little, a uh, small little solo. Then they just a little deeper. They uh, changed the pitch a little bit. Uh, and then they do my one of my favorite parts, the Irish jig. I'm not sure if the if it's the Irish jig itself, but it's Irish picking. So basically, you go in the 15th fret on the E, 13th, then go to B on 16th, and then 13th, then 13th on the E, 18th fret on the E. So let me just put it right here. So just watch the pick and watch my fingers. It, you can back it up if you want. Then right here they do hammer-ons. So yeah, like that. And then they go over to the 11th fret on the B. Then, you know, just, just follow this. You can see the strings here, so. So yeah, hello, uh, 
it, it's it's right. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it's maybe it's here. I think uh, my phone says that it's been 15 minutes, but I think like right there would say no. Wait, right either right here or right there says that it's been 15 minutes. Anyways, and we were on the 15th fret. Anyways, uh, so yeah. So all together on that riff. So what they do is that then they pick scrape. That's why I used a shark fin pick. And then they hammer on with the 10th and 11th fret. And then back to pick scrape. And then they get the whammy bar. Like on the record, what they do is they get the whammy bar. Let me just get this off. Get off. All right. What they do is that they do this. That's the Pac Man noise. So, yeah, they do that, but uh, what they do uh, in the live version is just chugs, some mutes, you know? Um, so, like this. Now you can do it like this. Makes the same sound with this kind of thing. And then in comes the solo, and I can't do the solo, but uh, I know like at the third verse, he uh, whammies at the 18th fret on the E. Okay, I accidentally hit the E string, hit the B string. And then we go back to here. to the 15th fret and then we're then they like he then does like something like that uh, keep in mind that I'm still playing the riffs that I know so this isn't the whole song um so they do something with this, and then they go back to the intro. Then they do something with the B string. That's what I do. And then I go to the 15th fret, 11, I'm at 12. Oh, palm muting. Then they pick scrape here. No, I don't really know if they do this. And I definitely know that they don't do this. But that's just easier for me. Anyways, after that, they, uh, they go crazy right here. Like hammer-ons here, but what I do is that I do this. No, no. I don't recommend that you do that because I do it. Uh, it's a nasty habit of mine. <laughs> but what I do for this part, I actually pick at the fretboard instead of picking at the body of it. Makes a different sound. You know, I said do it like. So then they go to the 21st fret and do a dive bomb. And then at that part, this string breaks. But what they do live, like, what he does live is that he does this. And then they uh, end on the 16th fret of the beat. So, like this. I'm sorry, that, hold on. Like that. 
That's what I've heard. Um, so yeah. Also, I want to tell you something that's coming up in the summer of 2019. Well, the new Adventurers is coming out. Also, uh, the Ninjago Legends episode two is coming out. And the FNAF, the FNAF thing, you know, the stop motion. That trailer wasn't for nothing. Stay tuned for that. And lots more coming, including vlogs and guitar covers. I don't hear roaring applause. You don't like that. Okay. Anyways, so here are all the riffs for you.
yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, please don't ask me to do it through the fire and flames anytime soon because uh, I've been doing it for I've been doing it for about a year now. Oh my goodness, 25 minutes already! Wow. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this long video. Um, yeah, subscribe if you're new. Give a like if you enjoyed it. Also, give a like if you learned something. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Goodbye.